to this dry summer, our state continues to suffer from these wildfires, the thick smoke prompting red flag warnings for a lot of Colorado tonight. Even with thunderstorms in the forecast, one of the main threats, dry lightning. Meteorologist Ellen Rose joins us live from the Waldo Canyon burn scar with more for us tonight. Ellen. And Elizabeth, even though this fire that burned in 2012 was determined to be human caused, nearly half of all fires that are sparked in Colorado are started by lightning. And really, that seems to be the case this summer. We are really thick of it in the middle of fire season here. Let me show you some data from the National Fire Protection Association. According to their data from 2007 to 2011, the U.S. averaged more than 22,000 fires per year due to lightning strikes alone. According to NOAA and the National Weather Service, Colorado averages about 2,500 fires per year, and about half of these are caused by lightning. Now, the peak season for fires sparked by lightning coincides with the summer months, usually picks up in June, continues through early September. And as you can see, some of those main threats are dry lightning and the wind associated with thunderstorms. I want to talk to you a little bit about what a dry thunderstorm is or dry lightning. You probably hear that term a lot from the First Alert 5 weather team. Here across the West Coast, a lot of the times, the lower levels will be very dry. Relative humidity values could be down under 10%. But there's a lot of moisture in the mid and upper level. So what happens when a storm forms is you'll get that rain that's falling in the cloud, falling down towards the ground, and it evaporates as it gets closer to the surface. This is known as an elevated thunderstorm. The main risk for many of these elevated thunderstorms is going to be dry lightning and strong wind gust. And any of these gusty winds that hit the ground and then fan out can really turn smoldering blazes into raging wildfires. So that's something important to keep in mind. As we heard earlier in the newscast, the Pine Gulch fire, which is burning out towards Grand Junction, has now eclipsed 125,000 acres, and that makes it our second largest wildfire on record here in Colorado. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Meteorologist Alan Rose, News 5. Alan, thanks.